somehow it never seems to impress me or surprise me or baffle me the amount of people that come out against the First Amendment. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what would I be talking about? Who's coming out against the First Amendment? Royce, is this a political thing? Not, no, no, kind, you, I, I don't know. You guys decide, but basically, one of the things that I always said that I would do on this channel, and you guys know this as well as I do, is I will use the larger stories to talk about the things that are near and dear to my heart. One of those things being free speech. Now, I'm not one of the idiots online that's just like, oh, like, you know, free speech means that I get to say the N-word all the time. And that's not what free speech is in any way, shape, or form. Free speech is, in fact, being able to just say the things that you want to say as long as it doesn't lead to harm of people. Again, there is that free speech is not unlimited speech and let's draw that line here and i'm also not the type of person that believes that speech is action now it can become action under very rare circumstances we have however a twitch thought the one of the twitch thoughtiest of twitch thoughts no not amaranth that girl no, not her. We're not talking about that Twitch thought today. Today, we're talking about Pokimane. Now, Pokimane is somebody who I am uh, only tangentially familiar with. I understand that she's had a Twitch channel for years. And to be perfect, perfectly honest, the girl sounds like she can barely string words together and has probably made her money on Twitch, well, using the only talents that she can. But in the latest attack, and this is something that actually caught my attention and makes me slightly worried. But in the latest, Pokimane decided that she would like to facilitate the creation of legislation that holds people accountable for the actions that they do online. Actions. That's a very specific word. What actions do people do online? For the most part, online, people just post words and videos, which could also be construed as words and some of them very degenerate. I accidentally looked up some weird stuff with, I was trying to find this, this video to figure out where I could find it. And so I typed in like, you know, Pokimane. It was like, oh, Pokimane leaks and boo, don't put that in on Twitter. You'll see some weird stuff anyway. And by weird stuff, I mean, dudes doing things to Pokimane's pictures that anyway, I digress. But actions, what does she mean by actions? Well, most likely, outside of the language that has actually been deemed illegal or something that you can actually have actionable recourse to, she's talking most likely about the trolls online, just having some fun, saying some things, and even, you know, being a little bit mean at times, which, eh, not my gig, but a lot of people dig it. So let's listen to what this barely sentient being has to say. Twitch chat brain. I would like to facilitate the creation of legislation that holds people accountable. Holy crap, can she even breathe without thinking about it? Look how hard it is for her to form words. Just 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 look at how hard it is for her to form words. It's this is baffling. Well, for the actions that they do online. I don't know if I should get into the details because in my because you don't have any you're not going to get into the details but basically somebody said some mean stuff about you online or they don't you know they don't bow down to the altar that is you know Pokimane and so thusly you are going to uh try to do something through big daddy government oh we're talking about big daddy government again mm, god I love that big daddy government anyway might rattle some folks but yes but yes but yes. Oh, sweetheart, you, you're you having trouble with words. I think words. there are some companies that I'm going to message, or not companies, organizations that are involved with certain causes. And I'll be like, listen, if you ever need someone to... And, and I'll be like, here's the thing. I am the e-thought that can bring your First Amendment attacks to fruition. Use me as your e-thought extraordinaire. And we will make sure that dirty First Amendment gets put in its place. Uh, let's keep going. I'm your girl. Mm. See? Because I think if you want to pass a bill, you like you usually go in front of a group of politicians. Yep. That's all you do. That's all you do. You talk to some politicians and they just pass the bills just like that. Just like that. It's That's exactly how it works. 
That's exactly how it works, Pokemane. God, you've put a lot of thought into this. You've put a lot of thought into a lot of things. I mean, outside of the e-thought thing. You've put a lot of thought into the internet, haven't you? ...and you explain your cause. I'm like, I'll do it. I will do it. Oh, I'm going to go talk with politicians. I have so many things to say. Oh, boy, with as hard as it is for you to form words, that's surprising you have a lot of things to say. Sounds like it hurts your brain when you do that. Ladies and gentlemen, why exactly is it that I'm making a video like this? Well, one, she irritated me. Two, this is actually something that can be used and will be used to weaponize against people who are simply speaking online. Now, there is no difference between online speech and in-person speech. In fact, there is no difference between that relegates speech from one platform to another, okay? Here, at least in the United States, we are built on the idea. I, I have always believed that the first 10 amendments were written in a way that starting at 10 is where you should start. And then you work your way backwards because you are supposed to protect the ones that are first. The ones that were first were the most important. What we have here... It seems to be another online personality who wants to do their best to limit the ability of people to speak freely on the internet. Not like that hasn't already been done to the umpteenth degree. I mean, I have to be semi-careful with what I say on YouTube or they will nuke my channel, which I'm going to be honest. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. They 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 yellow flag my my videos uh quite a bit especially when i go after you know the absolute duplicitous nature of the world and what governments are trying to do but one of the things that we need to understand here is getting a personality who is as large as pokemon she may have been larger back in her heyday and i know that i know she's on the downhill right now but she's still large enough and garners quite the audience around her the problem with this is is that no difference than you know some right-leaning personalities that have a massive amount of people that follow them who try to work with politicians to get things passed she can also do the same the difference here is that she is simply trying to limit the ability of people to speak online now as we have seen with various different companies out there the twitter the twitter files have been absolutely insane right by using the long arm of the corporation the government was able to censor many conversations that were happening years ago about the whole you know pandemic thing i watched youtube channels that i absolutely loved get completely nuked for instance computing forever dave cullen dave cullen had to start a new youtube channel it's called dave cullen it is still here on youtube but Computing Forever, I follow him exclusively over on Odyssey. In fact, he is the reason that I got an Odyssey account. Because too many things have been absolutely eviscerated off of the online platforms. They have been eviscerated simply because they are speech that are not agreed with by the absolute and total cabal that is trying to run the world. A lot of people look at me and they go, dude, no, you're over the... Yeah, no, shut up. Go watch... It's all online. You can go watch the summits. They live stream them to YouTube. They put the bills out there. They tell you how they want to reformat things. And this right here, using the influencers, using the artists, using these people that have massive, massive appeal. We've seen it with Hollywood for decades. Using these people that have absolutely massive appeal. They're going to try to restrict your speech. I mean, from what I'm to understand, Pokimane here has a little bit of a mouth on her. Boy, she loves to say all kinds of words on the internet that a lot of people would consider bullying or trolling and things like that. But yet, she seems to want to pull up the ladder that made her famous. Ladies and gentlemen, never underestimate the power of star power. No matter how strong that star power is, you must be ever vigilant. People like this are out here. People like this want to do these things. They want to silence you. They want to take your ability to simply joke on the internet or even be a little bit mean. And again, she'd like to facilitate the creation of legislation that holds people accountable for their actions. Well, words are different than actions, people. Words are very different than actions. And that is something that we must never give into.
In fact, I would argue there's very little, there's little to no action that takes place online. Action usually takes place in the real world. But to them, words are violence. And to you, I say, stay strong, stay ever vigilant. And let's use our words to shame these people into oblivion. What do you say? Let's do it. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I look forward to seeing you all here on Sundays. My Sunday show is at 11 a.m. Central is where I go and I read all of your comments. I make sure to go through and read every comment that comes through on the channel because I figure if you guys are dedicating time to me, I might as well dedicate time to you. In addition to that, also, I absolutely love talking about the smaller creators and the smaller authors and movie directors and, well, in video game directors and... If I can find them, they're out there that are creating stories that are good. They're wholesome. They're moral. Well, maybe a little less moral, but they're good stories. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, if we want to continue on with the future, we have to make sure that we keep an ever vigilant eye on these people. And then we go and we build our own thing. So ladies and gentlemen, join me here at 8 p.m. Central on Friday nights for Iron Age Nights, where we are bringing on new creators who are absolutely charging forward and being the tip of the spear for the new storytelling to get back to the traditional storytelling. So thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy, and until next time, cheers, everybody.